Okay, so yesterday we showed you five different free scenarios that you could solve with a jailbreak, and well, now we're back for more. I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now. I'll give you five different things that annoy me about iOS 6 and five paid solutions out of the many out there that you could solve with a jailbreak. My first big annoyance with iOS is the fact that the multitasking tray is simply icons, but Auxo is probably the coolest thing out there. It'll give you big icons, but aside from that, you actually even get a preview of the service, and you'll notice that the music service has a different sort of UI, which is cool, but you also get these previews of each application. You can definitely just go into each application, and yes, I'm waiting horribly for Mailbox to come in, but I could just go back to the multitasking tray, and I get previews of just about everything. So if I want to close an application, I just slide down. And if I want to close everything, I just tap and hold on anyone, and there go all my applications. I don't have to be killing each one, which is another annoying thing. But also, you get toggles, so I can control brightness at the bottom, and you can also control different things like audio, rotation, and just about everything. It's a really cool service. OXO is one of the things that I would really recommend you get. Another one of my big annoyances in iOS is trying to make a phone call. If you're in whichever app that you want, you have to leave the application, go into the dialer, and figure out what you want to do. But there's this cool service called Call Bar, where I have it set to slide from the bottom. And what you get is actually a bar at the top. You could actually have a slide from the top or from wherever you want from Activator, but I have the slide from the bottom because I'm not actually using it. And you can pretty much find your favorites here. You can find your recents here. Notice how fast it is. Find your contacts as well. You can call on the keypad, go to your voicemail. And the coolest thing is that, for example, if I want to, let's say, make a phone call, let's call this number. If I want to end the call, all I have to do is slide and it ends the call and it kills the call bar. I don't have to be doing anything. I could probably be within the Zara application, for example, slide from the bottom and I get the call bar there, and I can make a call from here without the need of going into the calling application. This is really cool. My third annoyance is the simplest one. If I want to go to contacts, for example, sadly, we do not get any thumbnails per icons, but there's this really cool one called Syntac, which gives you thumbnails, and it's pretty cheap. I mean, it's straightforward, nothing really out of the ordinary, and you'd wonder what takes this for iOS to figure out. I mean, this is a very simple app, and you notice that it doesn't make your application any slower, and it doesn't take up any battery life. At least I haven't felt that. Another one of my annoyances is Notification Center. You pretty much just slide from the top, and well, all you get is notifications, but notice this. Slide to the right, get Twitter. This is in Telescreen X. It's a really cool service, which is kind of pricey, but actually worth every penny. Slide to the right, you get news. Slide to the right, you get mail, and I can actually I could actually open the mail and do everything I want with mail from here. But another one of the cool things is that, for example, if I am in Notification Center, let's say here I have an SMS, if I tap on it, usually I would be yanked into the app, but here I could reply to it, call it, mark it as read, or do whatever I want from Notification Center without the need to leave it. If I want to write an SMS, there's this little button here at the bottom where I could type an SMS as well. And I could actually add more options to the screens that I get here within Telescreen X, and I can even have this active in the lock screen, which is really cool. And finally, let's talk about widgets. iOS does not support widgets out of the box, and notice this one. Notice what I have here at the bottom. This is called Dashboard X, which is really cheap. All you have to do is tap on any icon, and then just tap on it any empty space, and it'll give you the option to select widgets. Currently, there aren't really many, but you can actually select from the current widgets that iOS supports, and you can actually get other widgets as well. So for example, I want my weather here. Let's say I want another widget here at the bottom. I want the social one. Um, and I could pretty much bring the options that I get in Notification Center in my home screen without the need of having to go to Notification Center to get these things done. So I have my toggles here. Notice, this is really quick. I hit Bluetooth, it's gone. Hit Bluetooth again, it's up. I want the light, it'll automatically give me the flash, which is already working. You'll notice it right there. And it's just really cool. It's really straightforward. I can lock rotation and I could do just about any other thing that's available. You can actually even call SB settings 
for example you could get other toggles here uh, there are other tickers that are available this is just a really cool service i mean just think about it your possibilities are currently limited with ios but if you jailbreak you get more options that are actually really cool and while my battery life is not really taking a beating my device you'll notice is not sluggish at all so your mileage may vary depending on the iphone that you have but currently with the iphone 5 this works great that's it for our quick walkthrough of different paid applications that you could get with a jailbreak. There are obviously a ton more. Please leave us a comment down below of others that you'd like to see on video, and we'll definitely come back with more. I'm Jaime Rivera. Please follow us on your social network of choice, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and thanks for watching.